Let's take now example number two. And as you see here, I want you to draw an activity on arrow for the following activities. And here are their predecessors. If you notice, they are exactly the same number of activities from the previous example. But I mentioned for the first three activities, we, do, we don't have any predecessors. That means the beginning of the project will be from activity A, B, and C. Activity D has one predecessor of A. E has two predecessors A and B, and F has A, B, and C. So let's try draw that. Has, have the first three activities starting, so we can share the same node. And we have activity A, activity B, and activity C. And then it says here in the example, the question, we have activity D then, the predecessors is A, so we can just like having an arrow with D. And then we have activity E, the predecessors are A and B. It's kind of a close to what we just covered, so we can have then a dummy activity to highlight activity E here, which highlighting or showing the predecessor's relationship between E, A, and B. It says when B finishes and A finishes, E starts. Activity D here, when A finishes, D starts, but there is no relationship with B because this is only a dummy activity and the arrow goes towards this node not this one. So activity A, it linked to E with B as a finish to start relationship with B as the two predecessors. The last activity then would be F, which has three predecessors, A, B, and C. In that case, I would look at it as this node when A and B finishes, and then I want to link it with C when it finishes to start F. So that will be then just having another dummy activity here, starting activity F here. Then in this case, when activity C finishes, this arrow, the dummy activity shows when this node happen, it will also happen here. So in this case, B and A, when they finishes as well as C, F starts. So this node represents that point in time when activity A finishes. This node represents that point in time in the project when activity A and B finishes. This point or this node, it represents a point in time also when activity A, B, and C finish. With that, we came towards an end of our project. Then the last three uh, activities, D, E, and F, we can link them to only one node here and that's why I as I mentioned before I don't like to put the arrows because you want to extend it to here and extend it to here so that would be our project the logic diagram then the next step would be numbering the nodes as I mentioned I like to go vertically so we have one two three four and five so that would be the solution for our example